This is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV. I'm Derek Gilbert with our Friday 5. Five things you need to know as we head into the weekend for this Friday, August 23rd, 2024. Topic number five today, the Democrats party. Partying in Chicago with protesters outside. Influencers all over the Democratic convention uh, as the DNC trying to use social media influencers to rebrand Kamala Harris from a difficult boss to work for, the most unpopular vice president in American history, according to corporate media reports just six weeks ago, into the savior of the Democratic Party surging in the polls. We told you this week those poll numbers a bit inflated for Harris because of bias, but we will see. Right now, the platform that's been put forward, and uh, a, a full disclosure, we're recording this Thursday midday, so have not seen Kamala Harris's address to the DNC Thursday night. Last night, as you're watching this, we'll have something to say about that on Monday's 5 and 10 program. But to this point, her campaign has basically been, she's not Trump, she'll give you free money, especially if you're a first time home buyer, and free abortions. As we mentioned this week, Planned Parenthood has an abortion bus, a stocked medical facility on wheels parked outside the DNC convention offering free abortions. And as of this recording, reportedly more than two dozen children have been killed outside the Democratic National Convention this year. This is a party that's gone from 2008, where the main candidates, Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, were saying things like abortions should be safe, legal and rare to let's park a bus outside and offer free abortions to whoever wants one. As I said, this just gives off the vibe of some strange dark ritual to Molech taking place in Chicago. Joe Biden, an afterthought at the convention this year, as we told you earlier this week, relegated to a time slot, the last time slot on the first night of the convention, typically reserved for a minor party official, well after 11.30 p.m. Eastern time, where he uh, gave a really angry speech and once again repeated lies about Donald Trump's Previous statements regarding the Charlottesville rally, you know, find people on both sides, something that's been thoroughly debunked. The Obamas spoke on Wednesday night, Michelle playing the race card, Barack Obama making a crude joke at Donald Trump's expense. I won't repeat it here, but again, it was crude. It should have been beneath the dignity of a former president of the United States of America. But this is where the Democratic Party is today. This is where American politics is today, quite frankly. Anyway, NBC News is confirming, as of this recording, what Alex Jones broke on social media Tuesday night, that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is suspending his campaign for president, uh, plans to do that this morning as you're watching this, Friday morning, and endorse Donald Trump for president. No word as of this recording as to whether the Trump campaign actually plans to make RFK part of Trump's cabinet, although that would be, the reaction of the deep state to that would be Hilarious. Topic number four, the border. Told you this week about the ongoing scandal, actually national shame of unaccompanied minor children crossing into the United States and then disappearing from view. This is essentially child trafficking and the United States government is at the very least abetting it, if not openly aiding it. And this is according to the Biden-Harris Department of Homeland Security, which announced this week through a new report uh, that of the 500,000 children, unaccompanied minors who crossed the border since 2019, more than 60% of them are unaccounted for. 32,000 unaccompanied minors failed to show up for their court dates. Uh, 291,000 unaccompanied minors uh, haven't even received notices to appear. And uh, the rest of them just handed off to uh, sponsors who are not family members inside the country, and we don't know where they are. It's more than 300,000 children since Joe Biden took office in 2021 who've been allowed to enter the country and then just disappear. Needless to say, given that the child trafficking racket is more valuable to crime gangs than the illicit drug trade, that's quite an incentive to keep bringing these children northward. Until the border is closed, this will continue. And this, this should be a national shame. Topic number three, saving democracy by killing it. Told you this week about the UK government 
the new Labour government under Sir Keir Starmer getting set to enforce a law that was passed by Parliament last year, banning silent prayer within a buffer zone of about 150 metres around abortion clinics. Again, the Tory government didn't enforce it. The Labour government now starting to enforce that, criminalizing anyone who engages in wrong think outside an abortion clinic. Well, that day has already come to these United States. A group of Christian pro-life activists, including an 89-year-old survivor of a communist prison camp in Yugoslavia, could spend over a decade in prison. They were convicted Tuesday in a federal trial in Michigan, a jury finding Chester Gallagher, Heather Idoni, Joel Curry, Justin Phillips, Cal Zastro, his daughter Eva Zastro, and 89-year-old Eva Adel, that survivor of the communist, uh, communist uh, concentration camp under Marshal Tito in Yugoslavia, guilty of engaging in a conspiracy against rights, conspiracy against rights in a violation of the FACE Act. That's the Freedom of Access to Clinic Entrances Act. Now, the Department of Justice website says, this is not about protecting abortion clinics. It's about protecting abortion clinics. The uh, conspiracy against rights charge, by the way, was originally designed in 1870 to prosecute members of the Ku Klux Klan. It's been repurposed by Joe Biden's and Kamala Harris's Justice Department to go after peaceful protesters outside abortion clinics. Again, this group in Michigan facing 10 years in prison, more than 10 years in prison, hundreds of thousands of dollars in fines, but sentencing is pending some go-between between, between uh, the Department of Justice and attorneys for the defense as the judge considers several motions to dismiss the case. Topic number two this week, it's the economy. A famous line from Bill Clinton's 1992 campaign, it's the economy, stupid. Well, uh, this week we told you about how the Department uh, uh, the, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, that is, had to revise downward its estimate from March on new jobs created. They'd overestimated the number of new jobs by 818,000. That's the second most in history. The uh, most egregious overestimation took place under, under Barack Obama in 2009. Uh, the March 2024 total non-farm employment, 818,000 higher than reality. Not only... now. National Review, which is a conservative-leaning news outlet, said, no, the Biden administration is not cooking the numbers. Okay, I guess it's just a coincidence that this happened in an election year. But now the BLS having to come out with the actual numbers, which really diverged from the ADP payroll survey. ADP processes payroll for a lot of major corporations in the U.S., and their survey showed that the difference between reality and the Bureau of Labor Statistics numbers was quite large. So let's, let's say it was due to incompetence. They compounded the incompetence of March by incompetently failing to release the numbers as scheduled Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, but then when people, investors mainly, began calling the public number of the BLS, somebody at BLS was giving out the number to people over the phone which gave certain investors an advantage because they had a 20 or 30 minute head start on the rest of the world. Any way you slice it, it does not show the Biden-Harris administration in a good light. Incompetence or cooking the numbers or whatever, and then not able to get those numbers out on time as they obviously panicked realizing what they'd done. Not a good look, especially coming into the uh, November election. Coming up, yet one more reason to ditch Disney+. Plus. I'll tell you what that is next on 5 and 10. Ladies and gentlemen, you can easily and conveniently stream this incredible new film, Void Earth Cataclysm Before Genesis, right now at skywatchtv.com forward slash stream or on the mobile app for immediate access. However, if you'd like to receive your own hard copy on DVD, Skywatch TV is proud to announce the Void Earth Ultra Collection. 
When you order this exclusive collection from the Skywatch TV store, you'll receive the brand new documentary from Defender Investigative Films, Void Earth Cataclysm Before Genesis, along with Dr. Thomas Horn and Reverend Donna Howell's best-selling book, Before Genesis, the unauthorized history of Tohu, Bohu, and the Chaos Dragon in the land before time. These powerful works present astounding revelations like no other, taken directly from the Word of God, the conclusion to the events of Genesis that merges all contributing voices from not only the young and old creationist groups, but the scientific community as well into one balanced and agreeable climax. They reveal precisely how ancient archaeological sites like Gobekli Tepe and the Doorway of the Serpent point irrefutably to an intelligent race of beings here on Earth thriving before the time of Adam and under Lucifer's fallen dominion. They pull back the veil on exactly what the Earth was like during the without form and void era of Genesis 1-2 and so much more, featuring Dr. Michael Lake, Derek Gilbert, Reverend Donna Howell, Gary Stearman, and the late Dr. Thomas Horn in what would become his last documentary appearance ever. But that's not all. You'll also receive 315, the genesis of all prophecy by the legendary Rabbi Eric Walker. This prophetic, convicting, and heart-rending book exposes anti-Semitism as Satan's plan to eliminate the Jews and the catastrophic consequences the world will face if this agenda succeeds. Sold separately, all of these items hold a retail value of $75. Yours now for your donation of only $45, which includes free shipping to all U.S. orders. So don't delay. You can scan the QR code on your screen using the camera app on your phone for instant access to this special opportunity. You can also visit us at skywatchtvstore.com or call 1-844-750-4985 and ask for the Void Earth Ultra Collection now. Item number one today, it's not enough that Disney has killed Star Wars and Indiana Jones and Doctor Who and any no it's where franchises go, intellectual properties go to die, Disney and Disney Plus. Anyway, Disney, attorneys for Disney, played a stunning wild card in a court case against a man who was suing the Disney Corporation over the death of his wife. The attorneys for Disney claiming that the guy's Disney Plus subscription prevents him from taking Disney to court. According to court documents obtained by the website TMZ, Disney asked for the wrongful death lawsuit to be kicked out of court because the plaintiff, Jeffrey Piccolo, signed up back in 2019 for a one-month trial subscription to Disney+. Plus. Now, they've got that end-user licensing agreement, the EULA, that you have to click. You know, we've read this agreement and we agreed. To, basically, if you don't click yes, you don't get to use the service. Well, embedded in there was a, uh, an agreement that if you ever had any kind of legal challenge, legal problem with Disney, you'd have to take it to private arbitration, which would keep Disney out of court. Private being the operative word there, prevent Disney from receiving any bad publicity. What happened was, in 2023, last October, Piccolo and his wife, Canakporn Tangswan, went to the Raglan Road Irish pub inside the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, and they were led to believe when they ate at the pub that the menu was safe for Tangswan, who had severe nut and dairy allergies. Turned out it was not safe. She used an EpiPen on herself when she began experiencing a reaction, but later died of anaphylactic shock. Piccolo is suing under Florida's wrongful death law, seeking $50,000 in damages. Disney saying, in the fine print, the agreement you clicked when you signed up for Disney Plus, you have to go to arbitration. Piccolo's attorney hit back, said this was preposterous after TMZ ran the story and Disney began getting negative publicity. They said, oh, yeah, well, we didn't really mean it. Just know that if you've signed up for Disney Plus, you have essentially agreed by clicking on we agree never to sue the Mouse House for anything ever, regardless of where or when it happened. Whether that stands up in court, that's another matter. 
Well, this week on Skywatch TV, we're talking about this year's camping season. As you know, it's been a challenging season for Whispering Ponies Ranch due to unexpected changes in the insurance industry. Joe Artis Horn, Nita Horn, the staff of Whispering Ponies Ranch, talk about uh, how they've had to adjust and adapt, and by God's grace, have actually seen some miracles happen. This program is available right now at our website, like all of our video content, skywatchtv.com. You can watch it over the air. Our broadcast schedule is posted at skywatchtv.com slash channels. You can watch it right now on a set-top box. That would be Roku, Apple TV, yes, even Amazon Fire TV, Fire Stick, Google TV, Android TV. We're on all of those platforms now, so please add the Skywatch TV channel to your set-top box if you've got one of those. You can watch over the air, or what, over the internet, that is, YouTube, at Skywatch Television or Rumble.com slash Skywatch TV, but better yet, bypass the gatekeepers and download all, all of our content right to your smartphone or tablet with the free Skywatch TV mobile app for iOS, Android, and Amazon Kindle Fire phones and tablets, and you'll find a link to the app store that you need at our website, skywatchtv.com slash app. Thank you for watching as we keep watch and pray for the peace of Jerusalem. I'm Derek Gilbert. This is 5 in 10 from Skywatch TV.